Here's the forward main switchboard. Very large high impacity switches. There's the main power coming into the panel where it was broken down and then distributed to individual circuits. We have uh, ammeters showing loads for particular large circuits. Small disconnects for other devices. Here's the main control board for, or disconnect board. It's not a control board, but disconnect board for fire pumps. Whoops. And then these are the incoming mains from the two dynamos below. These are the main disconnects. Here's the ammeters and voltmeters. These are huge dash pot circuit breakers set, uh, let's see here, set for around 33, 3400 amps. And then these controls actually are what are used to start the dynamos to bring them online. Here's the forward dynamo room. It contains two 400,000 watt DC generators that were referred to as dynamos made by Westinghouse, there's one. And then there's the other. In the foreground are two motor generator sets used to provide AC power, from what I understand, to 40 millimeter gun mounts. These are the, con this is the control board for the degaussing system. And then I believe this is the basic circuit protection for the two dynamos. Each dynamo was powered by steam turbine engine. So this is the, this is the uh, steam turbine here, and then it ran through a gear reduction system. Here's the control panel for the whole thing, and then back here are the valves used to operate it to turn on the steam. That smaller vertical pipe is the input. This very large pipe at the top is the output, so quite a bit of expansion happened within that. I'm going to assume, because of this, uh, its location inside the uh, uh, returns for the steam, that this is very likely a water trap with a sight glass. There's the valve that would allow you to dump water out of it as it filled up. I am in the forward dynamo condenser room looking aft. In the center is the actual condenser. So looking to starboard, I will walk around it. On the aft, along the aft bulkhead are, is the air pump used to pull dissolved air out of the water that's condensed. Farther aft are strainers and pumps. This is the hot well and what may, I think, be the return water pump. Okay, looking forward, or aft rather, no, I'm sorry, that is forward. And now looking to port. I'll step over some pipes. Here is a turbine pump, which I'm going to assume, well, no, that's, a, that's actually steam input. I'm not sure of the identity of the others. Now still looking at the aft bulkhead and now back